for his six decades of service to North Staffordshire. Would you please be upstanding for our Editor's Award winner, 2010, John Abberley. That's life. That's life. That's what all the people say. You're riding high in April, shot down in May. But I know I'm gonna change that tune. When I'm back on top, back on top in June. Oh, you lights there, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm gonna make a pig's ear of this, I know that. <laughs> I've never been so embarrassed in my life as the last five minutes. Excellent. Anyway, <laughs> that's what you wanted to do. Anyway. You better sit down, folks. This might may, may be some time. <laughs> uh, I know what it's like being on This Is Your Life. Too. <clears throat> well, I feel a bit of a cheap beat up here tonight, you know. I mean, get us all. I mean, I get paid for what I do. 90% of these people here, they all do it for nothing. I've been working for the last 12 months. You know, I've had a bit of a problem, but uh, they still pay me good money. <laughs> I, I, I think they, still, they pay me too much, I think, but never mind. <laughs> but uh, these are the true heroes that, that, that I'm following now, tonight. So people who've done these wonderful, courageous things for nothing at all, and uh, out of the kindness of the heart. I've done it because I, I still enjoy my work, and I've enjoyed it for 60 years, and I feel a very, very privileged man to have been in that position. I, I'd like to just pay tribute for a moment to this, to this evening again. So many people have mentioned it already tonight, but it really is a wonderful Potteries night. This is the side of the Potteries that really matters, and it's the people. I don't want to embarrass anybody, but I'd just like to mention uh, a couple of names particularly come to mind. I mean, I'm thinking of people like old John Lees, the tin can man, who isn't here tonight, but what a wonderful job John's done for the last 14 years since his wife died, standing with that tin can in all weathers outside the Potteries shopping centre and raising 360,000 quid for cancer eater. Wonderful. And the other person who comes to mind always to me is the late Doc Griffiths, who uh, the lady was the uh, heroine of the Herceptin uh, cancer campaign. <laughs> Wonderful lady. As Doc used to say, she said, uh, well, you know, with cancer, she says, the treatment's worse than the disease. And I think I can uh, echo those sentiments now. <laughs> having just been for my daily dose today at, the, at Hearts Hill, uh, 25 days on the trot of uh, radiotherapy, but never mind about that. Uh, she's right. Uh, makes you feel damn sight worse than the, than the, than the, uh, than the cancer. But anyway, uh, I, what was I going to say? I mean, I've, been, I mean, I've had this problem for 12 months now, but really, I might to sort of shove it aside because when you've got something else interesting in your life, you don't sit brooding all day at home and worrying about what's going to happen next. I mean, I've got so much, too, much, too many things to think about. I mean, as old George Wade said, Sir George Wade, I remember him saying once when he was 90, uh, and somebody said, how long are you going to go on, George? He says, well, I can't die. I've got too much to do. <laughs> I thought, well, that's, that's a pretty good motto, really, for uh, all, all, all told. But... Um, I'm going to say, I think, yes, I'd like to thank Mike particularly for, I'm the Sentinel, and I'm going to turn the tables on it now a bit, because I'd like to thank them for keeping me on all this time. I mean, there's one thing that you say about the Sentinel, they're not ageist. If you put up with an old dodder like me, you know, who keeps upsetting people. As uh, John Cordwell mentioned to me a, few, a little while ago, uh, he said, you've upset a few people, including me. I said, what? Well, I thought I'd been very kind to you, John, really. <laughs> anyway, he's to his own. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, <it's, laughs> as I was saying... To me, you know, work has always been good therapy. Uh, and, and 
you know, when, you, when I get back to the, to the office, and I don't go in all that often these days, only a couple of times a week, but I work a lot from home now. But when I get there and sit by the computer and get going, I feel normal again. I feel as I'm back in the normal life that I, I had before this all started. You know, it's, that, that's the best thing you can do, is to try to live a normal life. And, and keep going in the same way. I mean, obviously, I'm not trying to, to uh, reduce these, these, these problems, but you do have a great deal of difficulty sometimes. But the main thing is if you can keep your mind focused on what you enjoy best and keep doing it as long as you can. You know, that, that's, I couldn't give that, I, would, I, would, I don't want advice to anybody about, about their health, but I don't really think you can, um, you can do much better than that. Is to, is to keep your hand up by doing the thing you like doing best. And in my case, of course, as I say, they even still keep paying me for it, you know? <laughs> so, uh, I don't think I've got much more to say, but I'd like to just say that uh, I think um, I'd like to just... I've, I've, I've always been a very fond... I've had a, 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 a lot of time with Dylan Thomas and one, uh, one of his poems. I was just going to say before that, by the way, that I was going to say this is beginning to sound a bit like uh, this, you know, keep right on to the end of the road. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd, I'd sing it to you if I could, but I can't remember the words. <laughs> we'll try later, maybe, in the half of our drink. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Dylan Thomas is a couple of lines. Uh, do not go gentle into that good night. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. And that's the way I'm going to carry on, folks. And uh, I do it all the time at home. You ask me why. <laughs> so thanks again, my cattle treasure this award. I, I, it really it does mean something to me. Uh, I, I didn't really mean all of those things I said. It really is. Uh, it really is an honour, uh, honestly. And I hope you keep me on for a bit longer. You know. <laughs> so uh, it's a great night for Stoke, is this, isn't it? Wonderful. And uh, I'm, here, I'm proud to be one of you. I'm very proud to be among all of you. I don't like to call myself a hero for a minute, uh, but at least uh, uh, I'm proud to be among you. And uh, ever the optimist, I hope I'll be here next next year as well. Thank you.